there aren't very many dedicated spaces I can think of that feel like libraries. I don't think we can give ourselves any greater gift than number one, curiosity, and two, a more insatiable curiosity. I think libraries feed that. I think that's all that stories are. And the more honestly you can tell a story, particularly your own, the more enriching the human conversation itself gets. The feeling of needing to have the ticks, it's, I think it's called the psychogenic itch in some book, never really goes away. When I'm out on the desk, I kind of feel like this inside because I can't just sit there and scream and scream. Now, when I get back to my little hidey hole in the back, and now I can let it out. My coworkers are the ones who have to deal with that part of it. I would say one of the most challenging decisions I make every day is to walk out that door and to walk to work. I can be totally fine and a person rounds the corner on 700 South and now I'm fighting the urge to have ticks because now there's somebody who can witness it. And it's bittersweet because I love to be around people more than just about anything. It's worse to hit yourself in the face or scratch yourself than it is to clear your throat or blink your eyes too much, obviously. I mean, these little scabs on my face are from scratches. I just had a big bruise heel right here because I've been going like this. Um, I've got a big scar on my chest from where I've just done this until it's scarred. All of my joints and my jaw and my toes and my fingers and my teeth it's just an accumulation. It's some really hard mileage. We all have our version of it, but a lot of my mileage is involuntary. I am having ticks now that just wear me out and piss me off that 10 years ago, I was having ticks that weren't nearly as bad that were still making me curl up in a ball and cry and not work and drop out of school, blah, blah, blah. I try never to go home because my Tourette's is bad, because it's always bad and no day is necessarily harder than the other. And I could see myself saying, oh, it's too much. And then I just never come back to work. I don't think that would happen. But I watched a decade go by while I was curled up on a couch. And that was the best I could do. And now that this is the best I can do, I'm, I'm committed to it. Like in the big Lebowski where he, the whole thing with the rug is it ties the room together. I, I feel like these things tie the room together for me and without them, I, I wouldn't want to know where I'd find my meaning or, or I mean, it might be that I couldn't. <laughs>